my stand at the green market is next next to the pretzel people. And in the past, some of the people who worked at the at the pretzel stand were backpackers and uh, hikers and stuff, the very physical types. And uh, there was a young woman who worked there, and she said. What do you guys think about these shoes that are fashionable that women were wearing? And they were kind of like uh, copies, but lightweight of European mountain climbing boots. And not one of us ever noticed <laughs> the shoes that the women were wearing. <laughs> so women dress for themselves. If we like what they were wearing, it's just pure coincidence. Oh, that's my fashion insight. Pretty girls are pretty no matter how stupid their fashion. And the ones that aren't pretty aren't pretty no matter how stupid their fashion. My other insight, which is not original with me, is that ugly clothes never wear out. They're really good, yeah. <laughs> Those clothes that your mother bought you when you were in junior high that you hated, they just would go on forever until you outgrew them. Yeah. I have a low opinion of uh, fashion. Uh, I, I approve of it because it gives people work. I think Oscar Wilde said that fashion was the only art form that was so ugly you had to change it twice a year. <laughs> I buy the Sunday Times. And a few times a year they have a fashion uh, issue, maybe the spring and the fall. And you'll look at the cover and then you look at the credits and uh, the photographer is credited, the hair person is credited, the makeup person is credited, the person who made the, the, the clothes is credited. Everybody gets credit, so where's the creativity? So I think that those fashion people like uh, Avedon are way overrated. And also I think that uh, celebrity photographers are uh, overrated from, a, from an artistic standpoint. I think that uh, Avedon or, or those people, if you compare them to Dorothea Lange, or minor white, they're just not in the same class. Some of the people like Irving Penn are very skilled and sometimes he uses that skill to make really notable pictures. But most of them I think are trivial. There's a lot of celebrity photographers that are famous because they take pictures of celebrities. But I don't see any substance. If you look at uh, the great portraits, uh, photographic portraits of the past, like Edward Weston, and, and people from the time when their only light was the sun. So all the pictures were made with one light source, and maybe they used a reflector. Uh, they had more meaningful portraits than uh, than today's people with a thousand strobe lights and uh, a couple hundred assistants. I just don't see. I understand that celebrities are are of interest to many people, like the British nobility. But they hold no interest for me. I don't. I don't get it. <laughs>